Hi, I'm Ruben. I work at Sokpo. And today I'm going to show you how I make 3D characters in Game Maker. Last time we already saw the basics of how did I do a 3D engine in 2D in Game Maker. So please watch that video first if you haven't yet. And this time I'm going to explain further how I make models and we're going to make player character together. This is a game called Coach's Dream and I made this beetle character all with the same technique as shown last time. You can run and jump and he has these cool antennas and uh, hands and stuff. Uh, and we're going to make something similar in this video. So let's see what we have left from last time. Yeah, so we have these balls, we can look around and there's a 3D effect. Very cool. Now let's add a player character. So we'll add a new object, object player, and it inherits from ball. Now we should fall, yes. We bounce. We can also jump. Right, cool. Now we can, so we can move around, we can jump, and we can look around. But it doesn't really look like a player yet. It just lo looks like a black ball. So we're gonna add some feet so we can actually move around. And now it becomes kind of interesting because normally now it would be the time to make a model, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna tell the computer to draw a, a guy. So what we're gonna do is we have the ball and we're gonna add more positions so we can know where the feet are and we can move them. And we'll just draw black circles where the feet are supposed to be. There we go. Now our character actually moves. Except it's kind of sort of scooting along the ground. We actually want our character to be a bit above the ground with its body. I think this back ball is its body. So we need to make sure that it stays above the ground a bit. Let's do that. Okay, so now actually the character is above the ground. It's a lot better, but it doesn't really look like a guy yet. Okay. So let's uh, mold it a bit. Okay. Hmm. It still doesn't really look like feet. But what's missing here is the legs, because they're not really connected to the body. So now comes the tricky part. We need to draw legs, but we can't use a circle. We need a new type of drawing. We need a line so we can connect the foot to the body. Okay, so let's make a new script. Uh, we'll call it line 3D. And the line 3D takes, uh, needs two points, which it will connect with a line. So we need an X1, Y1, C1 and X2, Y2, Z2. Then the line also has a width and a color. All right, so now we can always draw a line in three dimensions. Great. Okay, let's draw a line uh, from the body to the feet. So we we'll just call line 3D, X, Y, Z foot x foot y and foot c and the width can be maybe um, five and the color is also black all right hope it works yes now we actually see that our little guy has feet and legs now you can notice that the feet kind of, uh, it just, it doesn't, it's, it's not really walking. It's just dragging along the floor with his feet. So now let's make a, a walking animation. Yes, so it's actually taking steps now, but it's, it's a bit too slow. So the feet are dragging behind the character, but it's kind of, it's kind of walking already. 
Okay, let's tweak the uh, variables a bit and try again. <laughs> well, it, he, it, he walks a bit funny, but he is walking actually. Ah, this looks alright better already. Uh, right now, the, the feet aren't going up; they're just uh, like this. So we can make the feet go like this. It will look a lot better. But you can see that the feet kind of go up now as well. Uh, one more thing is that if you walk, your uh, body kind of bobs like this. So we can add that as well. So now it's kind of bobbing as it walks. It's just, it looks really funny. Um, so if you want to make a more natural looking walk cycle, there's a lot of tweaking involved, which I won't do. So it, it will just look a bit silly, if that's okay. Okay, this already looks like a, like a character, but it still doesn't really have a, a head. So let's, let's add that. Yes, it has a head. It doesn't have a neck yet, but we can very easily add it like we did with the legs. It really adds a lot of head, I think. Right, so let's add a, add a neck. All right. Looks okay. It looks, looks quite cool. The neck is a bit too short. So we're gonna make a bit longer neck. It's more realistic. Ah, yeah, that's a lot better. Yes, perfect. All right, let's add some arms as well. It's just the same as the feet, just the position is a bit different. Cool. Now the guy also has hands. Uh, they're relative to the uh, actual position, not the body position. <laughs> this kind of looks funny. Maybe the shoulders can be a bit higher. Yeah, that looks kind of, kind of funny. Maybe we can make the hands move a bit as well. Add a little animation. Another thing I want to do is, is lear, uh, interpolate the rotation, because now if you go from here to here, it's very snappy. So we can interpolate that to make it more smooth. It will probably look very silly. Oh, it looks, like, it looks okay, actually. You can also see the guys moving a lot more smoothly since we interpolated the, the rotation. You can see the hands move. And lastly, let's make uh, our little guy have a face. Uh, and we'll do that by just drawing stuff on the head. See what he looks like. Could be really scary, could be really cute. Um, bit scary. <laughs> it looks really funny. So you see, also see the eyes through the back of the head. So you, you need to, um, we need to actually uh, check if the face is facing the other way. But yeah, it looks like, uh, like a guy. <laughs> kind of looks like uh, he's on the moon. Yeah, so uh, you could really make a game about this. It's really cool. All right, that's where I'm gonna leave it. Uh, you could still do a lot more um, by tweaking variables and adding more stuff like leaning forward when you're walking, sprinting or uh, more colors, hiding the face when it's 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 uh, facing the other way maybe a mouth but uh it's gonna take a lot of time so um please try that out for yourself i'll link the source code in the description again so you can check it out if you want to uh, and thanks for uh, making it this far in the video hope you it's a bit more clear how i make these characters and uh, yeah see you next time bye if you like this video, please consider subscribing to the Sockpop Patreon. For $3, you get one game a month plus one bonus game. 
and for $5, you get early access to videos such as these. Thanks for watching.